Goranga, my friend. How are you? Hare Krishna. Somehow or other, this one has ended up in the horse body. Five senses grouped around the mind. According to the Bhagavad Gita, whatever you think of at the time of death, one will attain a particular body with five senses grouped around the mind. So, our lovable horsey friends here have uh, ended up in nice, beautiful, whoa, whoa, horsey bodies. But through mantra meditation, there's no impediments. So they can also practice little chanting. Goranga, Goranga. Goranga, Goranga, beautiful. Prabhupada said the horse is the most beautiful animal. Very beautiful, aren't you? Goranga, my friend. Oh, little, little jumpy. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Goranga, call out Goranga, my friends. Jai, thank you. Welcome, Dr. Tommy. He chants to the animals. Hare Krishna. So this is a little further down, down the path from that leads to my cottage. It's a good, good distance from any public roads. It's really out in the middle of nowhere. So peaceful. We have another little lock here, and there's these kind of um, mountainous outcrops everywhere. It's, it's really quite, quite charming. And today we've got the beautiful weather for once, because Ireland can be really rainy, grey. Really gets to your mind, man. It gets to your mind. So I have more mountains over here. There's a lot of standing stones around, thousands of years old standing stones. Now, nobody seems to know what the standing stones are for, which is quite interesting. If anybody knows what standing stones are for, if you could let me know in the comments, or make a little video, I'd be really, really grateful, guys. Okay, see, I think this is the way to the ocean. Let's check it out. So, short walk from the cottage, uh, and here we are at the ocean. Beautiful smell, mm. fresh salt water smell. We've got all these rocky, rocky outcrops all around. So, so nice. We really are kind of out in the middle of. God's wonderful kingdom. It's clearly quite charming. You know, you could just sit up there and do your yoga, focus in, tune in the mind, tune in the soul. The so, Atma, the word Atma in Sanskrit denotes mind, body, and soul all at the same time. 
So this, although they're different, they're they're also very much interlinked. So the kind of foods we eat, what comes through our mind, the way we live our life, all of these will influence how much our soul is able to express itself in varying degrees, either through hedonism or through philosophy or through meditation or as we know now the mind is literally a quantum computer it's literally what's coming through the mind will manifest will draw it in like a subconscious magnet so this is wonderful man wow I've never been down here I just found it on Google Earth and researched and then I realized my god I'm living so close to the ocean now they say there's loads of caves that if you were to go around the entrance to Loch Hine is kind of right around out, out of this cove and around so there's all kinds of wonderful caves who knows what kind of mysteries they contain this is great so we're basically out here we're not only doing solitary meditation but we're trying to go out and meet the local people and distribute books on all of these topics that we're discussing trying to uh, somehow awaken minds to this new era of spiritual knowledge this passing on this planet Great, it's another great little hermitage here. Wear your life jacket, it could save your life. Wear your bead bag, it could save your mind. One thing, the water around here, so clear. See that? Just see straight through. It's the same at Loch Wonderfully transparent. Wow. So I just came, that little cove is just down there and I came up the cliff face a little bit, it's not too difficult, it's a little stepping stone steps and, and I just come up here and I mean this is beautiful, wow, so charming and then look there's that island over there with the unusual kind of sign on the I don't know it's not painting I think it's just some kind of white on the rock face but if you see look there's a little causeway you can actually just walk across so it'd be so cool to go and just go and hang out on that island I think I'm gonna have to try and make my way over there along this uh, side of this hill so enchanting such a nice place to chant and become enchanted Okay, so nice little path here as well. Nice.
So we're getting closer. It's getting a little bit more tricky, but uh, we're getting towards that causeway. So uh, rather than walking there, we can do a little uh, teleportation to get closer, like this. Goranga. Jai. So the beauty of Ireland is that although it may be sunny when you come out, it doesn't take long before you get the showers. So we've reached the causeway. Fascinating causeway. Which is very interesting. How this stones have risen up out of the ocean bridge over to this island mystical island. I'll have to go over there and see if there's any ruins of any hermetic cottages hermits living out there. But you can still very much feel the energy from these places. It's like when you're performing some meditation and so on, it's like it permeates the atmosphere. It's almost like atoms can record, you know, it's like they can record vibration from a long time ago. I believe this is what spirits and ghosts are. It's almost like the walls and the, the very environment itself can record energy and store it. Uh, it's quite amazing. So let us continue. Okay, another quick little note. All of these dry stone walls. Now, some of these rocks, like, I don't know if you can see this one, but it's like that big. It's huge. How the hell did somebody lift that into place? Do you know what I mean? Uh, look at this one. Can you see the size of this rock? I don't know whether it's coming out clearly enough, but these rocks are gigantic, man. You know, it would take like ten people to lift that. How are these people lifting these rocks into place, building these amazing stone walls that are still here after so long? It's just fascinating. So we're almost at the causeway. It's just over there. We can cross, try and get to that secluded island and have a little wander, hopefully. Goranga. So I just found a wonderful little uh, cave grotto as I, as I came down the side here and it's amazing. There's actually little stones laid out in a row showing you the path. Really mystical. And then you come in here and there's this wonderful little kind of yogi cave. You, know, you could just imagine some hermit sitting in here and doing his intense meditations. There's like a quartzite deposit coming through there. It's very enchanting. Beautiful. And for some reason there's many bees. There must be a beehive in here. Something. Oh, no. This uh, wonderful water is coming through the rock. This water would be really pure because it's literally being filtered down through through the rock face. You know, this is fresh. You can see even the lime lime scale and everything. Sorry, I'm not even looking where the camera's pointing. You know, you can see how all the lime and everything has come through. It's very very pure water source. Fascinating.